The ultimate goal of manufacturers is to sell their products on the market. For this purpose, they have to demonstrate the compliance of their products with the relevant laws and regulations. The most efficient way to show compliance with laws and regulations is the use of standards that are detailing the relevant laws and regulations and are recognized by the individual national regulators. The WTO-TBT agreement encourages its more than 160 signatories to base their technical laws and regulations on international standards such as IEC standards. Therefore, a close and fruitful cooperation between standardization and conformity assessment is necessary. IEC offers both standardization and conformity assessment to the industry by running four successful conformity assessment systems based on IEC standards. It is always said standardization and conformity assessment are the two sides of the IEC medal. We need each other, we are two sides of the same coin, we are brothers and sisters, we are cousins, we are together. And if we don't work together, then we will suffer and the industry and technology will suffer as well. This seems to be true because in many cases, the awareness of each other is not sufficient enough. Having the different tests contained in different standards but trying to achieve the same end result causes a lot of problems to us not just to at the test houses or to the certification bodies, but to the market. Wouldn't it be more efficient to have a kind of a toolbox describing these generic um, test procedures, which can then be used for all these different numbers, various numbers of product standards, instead of um, creating each standard again test procedures for the same requirement. Greater communication between the standardization uh, developers, the TCs, technical committees and the conformity assessment. We have already some examples, some fine examples where this does occur. Yes, not only is it allowed, but it's really encouraged for, for IEC conformity assessment groups and IEC technical committees to work and communicate with each other, have liaisons and share information. Standardization and conformity assessment should be like two pillars of IEC, supporting together the demand of the industry. We understand that in the standardization process, we need to ensure that we have all stakeholders participating and represented. Equally, this applies in the conformity assessment area as well. And we need to ensure that the regulators have their say and that the regulatory requirements are taken into account. IEC General Meeting 2016. Connecting Communities. Reinvent Standardization.